What is it? <gasps> it is a sword hanger from the American Civil War. I'm here with Mr. Jim today and we have a brand new permission. And it's a really, really great historic permission. We should be finding colonial stuff. We should be finding Civil War stuff, maybe even Revolutionary War stuff at this, at this, on this farm. Now, the neat part about it is, is we get to detect the yard of this house. And this house is 1700s. It's rather unique if you look at the brickwork. It's kind of strange on this side. I've never really seen that pattern. A beautiful front. The yard has never been detected before. It's been in the same family for generations. And I'll be really surprised if we don't find a nice little handful of coins and maybe even a Confederate belt buckle. Um, I, I'd be really surprised if we don't find something like that today. Got across there, that's an old log cabin with a really massive uh, chimney base right there. That's limestone base. A couple other cabins over there. Huge spring down there, that's a spring house and giant spring coming out so there were there were people here at the very beginning of time uh, when people first settled this area as far as the european uh, settlers but they're also this was a very well-known camping area for the uh, american indians so all right so let's go ahead and get to it one bad thing is there's an electric fence nearby and it's going beep 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 uh, hopefully we can get the owner to turn that off <laughs> at least temporarily Let's go find some coins. Let's go ahead and dig the first signal together and then um, I'll probably have to dig on my own until I find something decent. It's a little squeaker right there. It could be a pull tab. It's not a really good high sound, but I'm having to use a shovel today. The uh, homeowner said it was fine, but I left my shovel at the house for some reason. He said he didn't care as long as we cover the holes back in. All right, see anything yet? All right, so it's still in a hole. So we'll get down there with a pinpoint and I'll set you up. Jim has a spare shovel. I'm gonna go get that. It's a little, has a more narrow blade. I think will make less of a hole in the yard. I don't mind using these wide blades up in fields, but here, it's, I just don't wanna mess anything up. So there's our first target and it is a beaver tail or a pull tab. I have a target, but it was deep. Uh, you can see down in the hole here, how far down it was. It's down there a good ways. It's actually kind of neat. This is a stirrup. This is an old iron stirrup. Uh, could be, uh, who knows, it could be 200 years old. It looks like an old style to me. Isn't that sweet? Second target of the day. And guess what? If you look at the soil here, that's an artifact layer all the way down to the bottom of that hole. And you can see there's some nice old pottery in here, ceramics, some old uh, redware, lots of little bits of bricks and other things. Man, this is going to be an awesome, this is going to be an awesome dig. It looks like oyster shell. Look at that oyster shell. Oysters were really popular in this area in the late 1700s, right up until about the time of the Civil War or so. And then the transportation industry changed, and they weren't bringing oysters in off of the shore, uh, the eastern shore, uh, after really about, by the time of the Civil War, uh, that trade was pretty much over, except during the war, the Yankees especially would bring oysters in because they loved oysters and they'd, they'd ship them in. But after 1865, you just hardly ever find oysters anymore, oyster shells. Usually that's a nice old colonial or you know slightly post-colonial site. Look how dark the soil is here. There's a good organic layer, pieces of pottery, pieces of brick. I got a brassy thing right there. I'm hoping that's going to be a sword hanger from the American Civil War. I haven't picked it up yet. It could just be a piece of wire. What is it? <gasps> it is a sword hanger from the American Civil War. Look at that. That's the third target of the day. Part of a sword rig that a cavalryman or an officer would wear. This would uh, hang off the leather and the sword would hook onto that and keep it from swinging all around. So yeah, 100% sword hanger from the American Civil War, dude. Let's go show Jim. We got Jim, he's gonna work his way over here and we're gonna just, we're gonna work this side of the house because the electric fence interference is not as bad over here. Uh, the homeowner's not here right now, so we can't ask him about turning the fence off, but I think we can, uh, I think we're gonna spend the rest of the day right here. And those are just second and third finds, man. It's freaking awesome. So we're dug a sword hanger. I got a pretty good signal here too, nice squeaker. Right there. 
Might be a little bit deep. I'm gonna go ahead and set you up. We uh, don't see anything yet. I'm gonna have to move you. All right, check a hole. Oh, it's right there. Nice, 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 good squeak. Oh, look at that thing. That is gonna be a lead, a giant lead spike, which is really weird. You can see pieces of brick too. I'm gonna take a quick picture of that, then we'll, then we'll pick it up together. All right, let's see if that's what it is. Oh yeah. Um, I guess uh, some type of weird giant lead spike I've never seen. I have no idea why they would have made that unless it was some type of big stopper like thing to go and to go into a piece of pipe or jug of whiskey. I'm not sure. That's kind of a weird piece right there, but could be some type of stopper. That could. I, I'm 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 pretty certain that's going to be uh, Civil War, pre-Civil War as well. Nice big beautiful signal. I thought I had a belt buckle. I think that's coming though. So this target was giving me a little bit of a squeak, but not not too much. But I went ahead and dug it. I think this is going to be like a some sort of cooking vessel. Or maybe it's a lid, or I don't know. Just reminds me of some sort of cooking vessel. It was cast iron, just has that that general look to it. But I don't know with that curvature like that. I'm just not sure what that would be because I think the thick part would be the bottom. Let's think about that a little bit. So I dug this. It's a big old chunk of iron. I can't remember what these are. I apologize, but it goes on some type of uh, horse equipment. I think a chain goes through there and a, a wood bar goes through there and a chain goes through there. Got another big iron signal here and I can see some of the rust coming out. But I just wanted to show you the artifact right here. You can see those are probably oyster shells and bricks. If you look right here, that's charcoal. So that might have been where they dumped the stuff from the fireplaces in the house i'm not sure but yeah let's see what this thing is it's a horseshoe i bet what do you think <laughs> yep so that my friend is half a horseshoe definitely not an ox shoe you should know that by now i think i have a really interesting find here i think you'll like it oh can you see me can you see me now big iron signal it kind of went that way and i thought it was either going to be a musket barrel or a piece of pipe and right now i'm thinking maybe a musket barrel what do you think is it no it's a piece of pipe wow <laughs> yeah i thought we had something there jack but that's what we have we got jack there's always going to be a taper on a musket barrel that's how you can tell them apart uh, you can see this is completely uniform all the way down and of course the little end caps give it away but uh, i'm going to set this up by the house so uh, it doesn't get run over i can't carry it obviously we just put it right there for now i'll let them know the owner know this is kind of a weird big ball of lead it's not and boy that looks almost like a rifling groove cut in it but this would have to be like a small cannon if that's what it was if it was a projectile uh, I don't know. We'll get that cleaned up. Maybe take it down the spring, clean it up at the end of the hunt. Looks like a little animal head, doesn't it? Like an old turtle. Old snapping turtle. I bet you that's what it is. Old snapping turtle. Um, head. <laughs> not, not a real one, but you know, made out of lead. Actually, I had no idea. All right, here's an interesting little piece of... I guess it's brass. It almost looks like a wick holder of some sort, but I've never seen one quite like... Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so this is a wick holder for a lantern, probably a kerosene lantern. That's where the wick would go through it right there and it would come up in here. This is the area that would be lit. It would stick up about that high. All right, that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll find the rest of it. Good squeaker in this hole and it looks like it might be a coin, although I don't know how old it's gonna be. What do you think? You ready? Oh, it's a large... No. I don't know what that thing is. That Oh, it's a medallion of some sort. It's probably a religious medallion. Can't really make it out too well, but... Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Let me clean it up. Take a quick look at it, and we'll get a good picture, too. Yeah. You, I know you're laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, so... My buddy, Jim, got me pretty good. <laughs> he, held, he held this thing up, looked just like an Ohio State breastplate, you know, crossbow plate. Oh, I, I looked at it, I'm like, my heart went pitter-patter. I was trying to get my camera fixed. I was dropping stuff. 
I guess you can I call like me Mike. Boy. You can call me Mikey now, all right? <laughs> That's it. Hey, Mike, how'd you like that? Now I know how it feels. <laughs> He's bad. Of course, so am I. <laughs> the day wouldn't be complete without a shotgun shell base. Yep, that's what it is. That's a 12 gauge high brass shotgun shell base. That's the only one I'll show you today. We both hope. Good high squeaker right here. Can you see it? That's gonna be a really cool find. That's gonna be a skeleton key, or what we call a skeleton key, made out of brass. Well, maybe. I guess it's broken off, I don't know. Never seen one like that that didn't have the end on it, but that's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? So what you got, Jim? I have no idea. Broke my glasses. That's just a Washington quarter. Okay, that's Probably about 65, 66. Yeah, kind of thought. Yep. Hey, sure, Jim. What? <laughs> I got you. I got you back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a large scent, man. No yeah, I know. He, Jim lost his glasses. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got a nice, uh, nice large scent there, man. Sorry, Jim. I couldn't resist, man. <laughs> we actually call you Mikey now. <laughs> nice solid squeaker here, so I thought I'd get you out for it. Right in the middle of that little divot. Hopefully it's not an electric, uh, electric line. <laughs> Could be. Actually, there is a water line going down to the uh, cabin there. Sorry. Oh, yeah. You see it? I don't. Nice dark soil, though. All right, it's still buried. I'm gonna put you away. And as soon as I see what it is, I'll let you know. I'll show it to you. So we have another big piece of flattened lead. A lot of good stains in here. If you like stains, you got charcoal stains, you got bone stains. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good layer right there. This little squeaker here, and I'm digging down. It looks like through some gravel, so I'm not sure. But it looks like a coin there. It looks nickel size to me, so. It may not be a very good one. If it is indeed a coin. Yeah, it's a nickel. <laughs> Jefferson nickel. Got a little bit of a shiny to it, so it could be a war nickel, I guess. I'm not sure. What I'll do is I'll clean this up and I'll get a picture of the date for you and see if it's a World War II era or not. I always like to find those. So that uh, nickel that I found was actually like a 1972 nickel, so I moved from that area. Just found this thing. Looks almost like something to go on the bottom of a boot or something. All those nail holes in it like that, but it's quite thick. Um, definitely hand forged, not guaranteeing that's what it was for, but kind of kind of reminds me of something like that. There's also a lot of pottery still in this area. Nice sign. A lot of bugs. Little grubs. He's a cutie, isn't he? I'm going to put him back in his hole. So I think this might be part of a cooking vessel as well. See, it's got the right curvature for a big old pot. Ah, oh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, there's the uh, eyelet for it right there. It's ought to have been a big old kettle right there. So we just found our first projectile. This is a small round ball. This could have been fired out of a Kentucky rifle or a pistol, Civil War era pistol. It's really hard to say with these things, but that's a nice little find right there. Got there, Jim. Might be a oh, yeah. wine bottle. Yeah, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's too old, but you know, I've never seen one quite like that. There's two or three of them down there. Is there really? <laughs> yeah, judging by the bottom of it, it doesn't look like it's very old, you know, that writing like that. Beautiful little chimney right there. I think. Oh, yeah, okay, there's a couple there. Yeah, they're, um, I don't think they're old enough for me, but uh, they are kind of neat, though. Thanks for showing those to me. Appreciate it. That's a cool cabin. We'll take a look at that. Looks like another good disc down there. I don't know if that's going to be a colonial copper or another medallion or a largey. Oh boy, it's thin. That's probably going to be a button, I guess. A big old flat button. It's really thin. If you look right here, you can see where the shank was attached. You can actually see a little bit of solder on there. So it's one of the George Washington button. <gasps> It's got a nice uh, design on it at least. Beauty of a button is just not a George Washington, I don't believe. <laughs> yeah, so Jim's got a piece of iron here. We're just kind of trying to figure out what it is. And I was like, it's an artillery shell, half of it, but it looks like it's squarish. 
when we pry it out of the ground with a shovel if it's not too big we're not going to break it <laughs> oh my god what an idiot what a moron <laughs> I mean it's iron man that's small you think I've never seen one that narrow let's see wow it's, it actually looks oh I know what that is that's an aerial railroad probably probably I had, yeah, yep. I think it's too small for like Civil War, Civil War era stuff. It's bigger. I'm thinking it's like that. So pulleys would run on it, like in a barn maybe. Or like wheels go along that. Yeah, yeah, like in a like the barns have these. I'm thinking that's what that is. I'm not 100, percent but the railroad uh, rails that I found are, are a little bit wider than that and thick, yeah. a little thicker. Civil War stuff. Still pretty cool. Yeah. Sorry I banged it for you. <laughs> oh, right. So we have our first Civil War bullet right there. Look at that. Not sure if that's going to be a mini ball. A pretty, yeah, it's a mini ball. So that is a dropped Civil War, American Civil War, 58 caliber mini ball. So that's the second Civil War relic that we've found that's definitely a Civil War relic, Civil War era relic. Most excellent. Could be a hundred of them in the ground right here. Nice high squeaker here. So I'm hoping it's gonna be something good. I haven't looked yet. Ah, it's a coin. Size-wise, I'd say it's gonna be modern or half penny. I don't know, what do you think? But it's probably two cent piece. That's what it's gonna be. I do believe it's gonna be two cent piece. Yep. Give me a minute, I'll clean this thing off. So that is a two cent piece. You can always tell these things because they come out that color. I guess because they're really, I don't know if they're really bronzy or what. They're always that pretty green color. I can't read the date. It's 18, it might be 1868. I'm not 100% on that though. Pretty sweet, huh? So Jim and I are gonna finish up for the day. We're gonna talk to the landowner, homeowner, and give him some of the stuff. Maybe we'll clean it up a little bit more for him too, but have a good time, Jim. Wonderful time. <laughs> we well, but... Yeah, we, we did good. We did good. We'll see you on the next one. We'll come back here. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt Or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady My big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby And I'll rock you until I go to sleep She'll shake the coins from your pocket Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep 
hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and...